Hello everyone, it's Annabella here. I really, really like Rosé and Bruno Mars' new song, Up It Too. It's so catchy and cute. Totally my style. Anyways, since Rosé made a hit, I thought let's take a look at her energy surrounding her career. How is it? How is it going? And whatever the cards would like to tell us. Also, thank you for all the requests coming through. I have selected a few and will be reading them during my weekly reading. Before I jump into the cards, I would like to quickly remind everyone that celebrity tarot reading is for entertainment only. Take everything said with a grain of salt. Use your logical sense to process the reading. Remember to remain logical. And now, let's quickly take a look at Rosé's current career energy. The first card is Four of Swords. It seems to me like this spread is going to show me Rosé's energy in an orderly fashion. This Four of Swords is like a resting card. I believe this actually describes her energy prior to releasing her song. Mostly quiet, trying to organize her work and trying to figure out what she wants to do. I believe this energy represents her staying low-key and away from the spotlight, unlike her other Blackpink members. I think in general, Rosa is much more quiet in the previous time frame. But you know, I feel like she's being low-key on purpose. I'm not totally sure, but this energy also reminds me of someone needing space away to manage her anxiety and stress. Then we have the chariot which is honestly completely opposite from the Four of Swords. She remained low-key for a period of time and then went dashing to success. This chariot symbolizes her overcoming whatever obstacles she was facing in the Four of Swords. And her way of being back is full force, super quick. She went flashing through everyone and made an impact. I really appreciate it when my cards are able to show me the direct energy that translated from the actual event because to me, Abitu is literally like the chariot. It came out fast, got popular fast, and got stuck in my head super fast. It's like she's back to make an impact on you. Two of Cups. But you know, she has lots of support. At least... Bruno Mars working with her is again a direct equivalent to the energy of this two of cups. She is going to be successful because this car indicates a strong and successful business partnership. If she works with someone, that person and her will both benefit greatly from their work. It also seems like she is able to have a great working relationship within this partnership as well because they have similar goals and mutual respect for each other. There is harmony and balance within this energy and I am super happy for Rosé. I consider it a lucky thing being able to meet and work with someone that bounds you off so well. King of Pentacles. I still think this is Bruno Mars. But of course, there may be other Kings of Pentacles in Rosé's career. Just right now, I think this is Bruno. He kind of fits this description. Someone who is well off, who is already successful in this field. He's here assisting and collaborating with Rosé. This king must be the partner that shows up in the Two of Cups as well. So I don't doubt it at all. This is a great energy for Rosé. Again, she has someone grounding near her and I see this working relationship being able to last for a long time because the king of pentacles is a very sincere man. If he trusts you and works with you, he will remain to do so. He also has a lot of integrity making him the best partner to work with. Lastly, the lovers. I find this spread crazy because if this was a love spread, I would be going crazy for whichever pair I am reading at the time. But this is a reminder, not a love spread. It is a career spread. With the lover, I see a message about Rosé's current growth. I think in the upcoming time period with her current success, she will be loved, of course, but she will get a lot more opportunities. These opportunities will get her to have to make decisions. It's not bad at all, though, because this would give her the chances to work on something she loves to do and hoping to do 
or giving her the chance to do things that would further advance her career. Either choice is going to be good for her. I am very happy for Rose. I would think the only thing she should be careful about are her anxieties. The spread is so beautiful besides the Four of Swords, suggesting that she should rest when she needs to. But yeah, that's the end of this reading. Remember that tarot reading is based on energy and as the interpreter of these energies, I may not be 100% accurate. Please remember to be logical, have an open mind, and keep yourself grounded with the information. If you're interested in buying a reading from me, please check out my description for my contact information or visit my Etsy store, annabellatarot.etsy.com. I also accept payment and donations via PayPal. For pricing, please see my channel's description. Feel free to leave your requests in the comments, but I will prioritize purchase readings and most popular requests that fit my interests. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a nice day and see you next time.